What's going on? It's your boy D Pain, the barber, hitting y'all back with another one. We're about to get into this taper right here. Uh, it's my man right here, Jordan Evans, man. He played for the Cincinnati Bengals. He's been coming to the shop for a long time now, since he was a kid, man. I've seen this kid go from middle school to high school to college, all the way to the pros. So, real humble guy, man. I appreciate him for uh, letting me uh, do this haircut in this video. But anyway, so right now, I got the um, Magic Clips with the No Guard open. And I'm just uh, flicking that taper, not really going too high past the ears. Uh, I got the one and a half. And uh, I'm starting open, and then I, as I work my way down, I'm closing the, the lever on the clipper. So uh, just just keep working that taper. You know, you just got to be consistent. You know, flick that wrist. You know what I mean? You ain't got to do it too much, but you know, just don't go too high into the hair. All right. So uh, now I'm about to put the number one guard on, and then uh, like I said, just continuing the same process, being consistent. Uh, not going too high into the taper. Um, got the uh, lever open, and as I work my way down, just closed. Uh, so, you know, you just gotta keep working that taper until you see that blend come together. You know what I mean? Be patient. Uh, you don't have to rush. Right now, I got the uh, 16th on there, the, uh, the 16th guard, and uh, it's the same process. And, you know, it don't change. Same rules apply. Open that lever, and the closer you go down on the fade, you just close the, the lever on the clipper. So same rules apply pretty much everything you do. Uh, it's just the way I fade. So uh, just combing it and just making sure I see that blend come alive. And uh, you know just in case if you have not known about my Instagram yet as uh, uh, D-Pain the Barber. Make sure y'all go ahead and follow me on there and uh, you know subscribe to my channel. Make sure y'all click that like button, leave a comment. Um, you know, I try to get back to y'all as much as I can on the comments. Uh, right now, I got the uh, no guard open again, uh, just working that taper, and I uh, just kind of use my the corner of the blade, uh, just flicking certain areas that's dark that I see. So right here, I'm just making sure that I clean up everything and uh, using a clip over comb technique, uh, just knocking out that that uh, dark line that I see, just to get that fade to uh, blend in a lot better, get that blurry action going. Right now, I'm making it a ball taper at the bottom. Just using my edges to get a little close on that taper. And if you don't know the name of this clipper, I got the Andes GTX blade, the deep tooth blade. So that, you know they work pretty good with curly hair. And um, so, uh, like I said, I'm just about to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, got the no guard open with the magic clips. And just about to, you know, repeat the same steps. So. So what I'm about to try to start doing on on these videos is just you know kind of leave you young barbers uh, with some advice, man. When you first starting out, uh, just whenever you get your license, whenever you go to barber school, man, them first two years, man, you, you should almost live at the shop, man. Uh, work there as much as possible. That's how you build a clientele. The only way you really grow in this industry is if you just you know always be willing to educate yourself have an open mind and just work harder than the next guy you know what i mean you gotta pretty much almost live there uh if you got a family if you got a, a girl uh you know wife whatever kids family you know just talk to your family let them know that you know you putting in that work you know what i mean get them to understand you sacrificing that time to you know help benefit you 
guys in the future. So, you know, put in that work, man. Don't let no, don't let the next man next to you work harder than you. I mean, and if he's doing working just as much as you, that means he in the right lane. So put in that work, man, for the first two years. Work a lot. And then after that, then that's when you start to slow down when, you know, you got a lot, a lot of clientele. Uh, that way you can control your schedule a lot better. But, man, just until then, nobody really know you, man. Everybody got to pay their dues. Everybody got to put them some long hours in in the beginning. So that's just my advice to y'all. So I'm about to start dropping some type of knowledge to you guys on every video. And uh, to be honest with you guys, I've been having my barber's license for 10 years now. And I still work a lot of hours because I got goals and dreams. And uh, it just requires me to still work a lot of hours. So, And I love what I do. So, you know, the more the story is, just keep grinding and y'all going to be good. Right here, I'm just combing out that hair. And uh, it's easy. I mean, I got my clippers set to perfection. The end is GTX, man. Y'all get y'all get some of these edges, man. They off the chain. They, they work great with curly hair. Thick hair, you know, they pretty much get down off in there. And uh, they, they go ahead and knock that bulk out like you need it, man. Get that straight line going. Okay, so right here, I'm going to use the corner of my blade. I'm not going to lay it flat. Like, I'm going to use the corner of the blade to make that arc. So, that's just another key tip. If you're just not starting out. Uh, just work that line. Just use the corner of that blade. You know, it's like you drawing it. Like, like if you had a pencil in your hand. So, comb it out. Get that, that bulk out and just use that the corner of that blade and it you know it'll work a lot better for you. Okay, right here, he got that little eddy monster, so I'm just going straight across. <clears throat> I usually start my, my line is right in the front, but I had that camera set up at that angle, so I just went ahead and started on that, that left side. But, you know, you for the most part, you want to start that line in the front and then work your way out to the corners. But, you know, I've been cutting for a long time now, so, you know, I kind of already know what I'm doing. But, uh, you know, if you're just starting out, my advice to you is just start in the middle and work your way out to the corners, and then hit that arc on the corners on the side. You know, that way you can practice learning how to get the straight lines and things like that. So, just cleaning up the face. Now I'm about to use this razor. <clears throat> and uh, right now, uh, just pulling the skin tight. Remember, every time you're using a razor, just always use that, you know, the corner of that blade when you're in the, in the corner. Just pull that skin tight, that way you won't cut the client. And right here, I mean, haircut's pretty much finished for the most part. Um, every time I get done using the razor, I go back behind it with my edges. Um, using the Andy's T-I liner. Uh, just touching up everything. Uh, about to put this part right here in his head. He asked for a part. So, you know, I had to go ahead and throw that in there get that sharp and crispy as well. Okay, so right here, I just got water. Um, spraying the water in his hair to damp his hair. I'm not gonna soak it, uh, just dampen it with the spray bottle. And I uh, just got some, some gel. And uh, right now, I'm just putting it in his hair to make it more curly. You know, we get that uh, hair moving around, get that fresh look, and uh, that's just the finished look. So, you know, 
Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I hope y'all like this video. Once again, my name is D-Pain the Barber. Follow me on Instagram at D-Pain the Barber. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Pain D'Angelo. Uh, so, you know, I'm going to keep hitting y'all with these videos, man. Let me know what y'all, let me know how y'all like this, man. Get that nice little turnaround. Yeah, I bring smiles. I bring smiles, man. My clients love these cuts. Hit me up, man. Deep Pain the Barber. I'm out.